In the 21st century, there are many problems that the UK is currently facing. Do you think you can speak freely in the UK? No. I think people are a bit cold sometimes? Can be, yeah. I guess you're not really allowed to have your own opinion. This is a problem that's not only seen in the UK, but in many other Western countries, including America, Canada, and many other places in Europe, where people aren't allowed to speak their mind free if you're offending someone. It is an increasingly common thing in the UK and in its surrounding Western neighbours for somebody to get fired from a job for a personal conviction or to get expelled from a school because of what they believe. Do you like living in England? Yeah, I do. So you mean like if you say something, you might be like shunned in the UK? Yeah. Do yeah. you think the people are nice? Could be nicer. <laughs> what is the main gripe you have with English? Bit rude sometimes. <laughs> Bit blunt. <laughs> One of the biggest crises that the UK is facing now because of this is people aren't allowed to speak freely and speak their mind. Do you think you're allowed to speak freely in the UK? Not really, no. How so? Um, I guess you're not really allowed to have your own opinion. Sometimes you can, it like depends on the environment and like where you are. Maybe if it's like controversial or something? Yeah. Yeah, in England you could see it happening that maybe you get fired for an opinion if someone doesn't like it, maybe your boss. Well, I mean it depends, like if it's like a, like a damaging opinion that might like impact someone, then, yeah. What's like a damaging opinion? Well, I don't know, like someone, someone that like, um, like, um... Like hateful? Yeah. Do you like living in the UK? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's not too bad. What's your favourite part about it? I don't really know, to be honest. It's just quite nice. It's a nice place to live. Lots of places, depending on what you want to do. Have you been abroad? Never, never been abroad, no. <laughs> Maybe you think, like, if you go abroad, like, the perspective might change a bit? I assume the culture would change. Additionally, talking to many people in the UK, you'll hear complaints about them not liking the weather. Do you guys like living in the UK? No. <laughs> Why not? Because I like the sun. Although many people might be oblivious to the issue, it's very obvious as well that the UK is facing a crisis in the amount of young people that there is and community and young people not being able to make friends or find relationships which obviously leads to bigger problems in 10-20 years when there will be complete population collapse after there will be way too many old people that won't be able to be sustained and taken care of by all the young people as there aren't any because the young people now won't be having children. Would you say uh, you can speak freely in the UK? I think it depends on the issue um, and within the certain circles that you're speaking in. Around my friends I can. So do you think in some situations you, you won't be allowed to speak your mind? Not so much allowed, but definitely I think you'd probably face some backlash depending on what you're speaking about. If we look at a country like Japan, which is one of the most developed, we're already seeing this issue be the most prevalent where their population pyramid is completely top heavy, where they'll have a lot more old people than young people. And we see that the gradually the average age of the person is increasing and there are less and less people in the workforce powering the economy. Do you guys like living in the UK? Yes. What's your favourite part about it? The weather. Yeah, the weather. Wait, so where are you guys originally from? The Philippines. Philippines. Ah. Philippines. So is it very hot over there? Yeah. Uh, so maybe you kind of like, like it when it's more chill. Summer now in the Philippines. It's mm. like 35 to 40 degrees. So you kind of like it more like cooler here? In many ways, the issues that the UK is seeing aren't something individual to the country in and of itself. It's more of a larger issue that we're seeing in Europe and North America. This includes stuff like obesity. Anybody that goes on the streets of the UK or any really developed country will almost immediately see uh, masses of morbidly obese people, overweight people. And this just shows how bad the diet has gotten in the UK, whereby people will be constantly eating unhealthy foods, carbonated drinks. This, this is just progressively getting worse as time goes on. A fast food chain like McDonald's should not constantly be full, and even more so, it shouldn't be completely filled with young people. Do you like living in the UK? Yes. It's a very part about it. The very part about it, I think, is the countryside. It's very green. And the weather kind of sucks? Yes, but no at the same time. You got used to it? Yeah, I definitely got used to it. You think that people are nice in the UK? Mostly, yeah. What are some exceptions? Some ex as in what, for bad people? Maybe like, character-wise? No, I actually thought about that. Um, but people are a bit cold, maybe? Cold? Mm. Yeah, some can be like, quite snobbish. Stuck up a little bit. Do you think um, you can speak your mind freely in the UK? Yes. The freedom of speech? Yes. Because of an unhealthy lifestyle is the norm, not only for the average person, but the average young people. What sort of example is that setting? Yeah. But don't you think maybe if you have like a controversial opinion, uh, you might like get in trouble? Say it? Certainly, yeah, especially online or, or in person as well. Don't you think that kind of violates freedom of speech? I think it can do, yeah. I think it's just 
think it's a well-known thing that some people are going to disagree with you. Even though it is wrong, you should be able to say how you feel, but some people are just like that, really. Don't you think a healthy disagreement is letting both sides? Yeah, I agree, yeah. So in many ways, to summarize, we can say that the three pillars that are really contributing to the downfall of British society and in many ways the downfall of Western society as a whole is the lack of free speech that we are seeing, people not being able to say what they want and being silenced. And the second thing would be the absence of community and people not having friends, not getting into relationships. We're seeing record high rates of virginity among young men. And the third thing would be the incredibly high obesity rates and poor health of the people. But do you think if you had like a controversial opinion though, maybe someone you wouldn't be allowed to speak that? I don't think you'd be, I think you're allowed to speak it, but you'd definitely get backlash from someone else about it. Do you think that's reasonable? Yes, because it's like an argument. It's got to have a balance to it. It's fair enough. Do you think though, like maybe in like a university or like a workplace setting, you might get like excluded or like fired based on some opinion? Probably certainly in a professional environment. I wouldn't say in a university because I feel like there's a lot of openness about universities. Really? Professional yeah. Someone actually in the UK got excluded for defending Andrew Tate. What do you think about it? For referring to Andrew Tate? Yeah, like defending him in an argument. What, from a, they got, as in like a Excluded, yeah, excluded. Um, I feel like that's quite an extreme case. There are an array of factors that are contributing to average life satisfaction just going down. And the main problem is that if society doesn't put its foot down and say these are bad things then it, will, then it will only get worse because people don't understand that what they're doing is not ideal that's why it's so important as a society to give merit to the right values because if you don't then everybody sees a downward spiral in their own quality of their own life and physical and mental health there are certain situations and scenarios that only make life more difficult for humans and when a society encourages that and makes it more common then of course it's going to make life more difficult for the inhabitants. I mean you were saying that university campuses are meant to be open places. Do you think over time they become progressively more like closed off? Like they don't only have like one belief system per se? I think they might become closed off if certain communities in this in the, and societies in the university become too large potentially. Take over by that group but mm then it can become, I think, definitely almost like a war. I mean, it's just like one sort of people just yeah. work. Yeah. yeah. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, if you like these sorts of videos with the commentary in between, then be sure to tell me. And yeah, I'll see you next. Peace.